Greetings to everyone who is watching and listening to me right about now. Dear brothers and sisters, it is an amazing moment to be at this place. And for you, it is actually a blessed day that you are listening to these words. You know, there are a lot of people that would wish to hear these words, exactly the same words that I'm about to say. There are many people that actually are wishing how I wish I knew before I went into a problem. How I wish I was told before I went through that relationship. Brothers and sisters, what you need is the voice of God. Is to hear from God exactly about your situation. It is important that to, you are guided by God. And the Bible says it clear. My sheep hear my voice and they know. So if you are God's sheep, you are supposed to hear his voice and you are supposed to know that God has spoken. But a lot of people can hear the voice of God, but they don't know. They don't know. They can hear the voice of God, but they don't know that God has spoken to them. And yet God has been speaking to them on a daily basis. Brothers and sisters, if you are watching me for the very first time, my name is Grace and I welcome you to this amazing channel. I encourage each and every one, or request actually, those that are watching me and have not yet subscribed, I request you, kindly request you to please subscribe to this channel. Turn on all the notifications so that you never miss out on these amazing, powerful videos that I release on a daily basis. I also have live streams where I pray for you, where I encourage you. I read out your testimonies and there are a lot of miracles, signs and wonders that have happened to a lot of people. Your miracle could be next actually you could be next in line brothers and sisters i have a word for you and the word is they have hired someone to betray you your enemies have hired someone to come close to you so that they can betray to you not everyone that is friendly actually is your friend just because they are acting friendly, just because they are speaking well about you, it does not mean that that is what they are saying. There are some people that are so diabolic. In front of you, they will speak good. But behind your back, they are the ones stabbing you. They are the ones who are putting traps against you to bring you down. Be careful who you trust. Be careful who you allow into your life. Whether it is a relationship, don't be so desperate to get into a relationship with somebody. Mm. The enemy can use that opportunity where you feel so desperate and he will send an enemy to come and pull you down. Watch and pray, brothers and sisters. I repeat, watch and pray. Pray without ceasing so that you may not fall into temptation. I want to read you a very powerful word that is from the book of Judges, chapter 16, verse 4 to around 19. Judges, chapter 16, verse 4 to around 19. 19. The Bible says it clear. Afterward, it happened that he loved a woman in the valley of Sorek, whose name was Delilah. And the lords of the Philistines came up to her and said to her, Entice him and find out where his great strength lies, and by what means we may overpower him, that we may bind him to afflict him. And every one of us will give you 1,100 pieces of silver. So Delilah said to Samson, Please tell me where your great strength lies and with what you may be bound to afflict you. And Samson said to her, If they bind me with seven fresh bowstrings, not yet dried, then I will become weak. And be like any other man. So the lords of the Philistines brought up to her seven fresh bowstrings, not yet dried, and she bound him with them. Now men were lying in wait, staying with her in the room, and she said to him, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. But he broke the bowstrings as a strand of yam breaks when it touches fire so the secret of his strength was not known you see what is happening let us rush to the uh 
to verse um, 19 and see what happens. To verse 19 says, Then she allowed him to sleep on her knees and called for a man and had him shave off the seven locks of his head. Then she began to torment him and his strength left him. That is the story of Samson and Delilah. That the Bible says the lords of the Philistines, they came to Delilah. And actually they hired Delilah and told him to entice Samson. They even paid, promised to pay Delilah. Each of them promised Delilah a huge sum of money. They promised to give her 1,100 pieces of silver. That is a lot of money. Hmm. And they wanted her to entice him. You see, Delilah was an expert. The reason as to why they picked Delilah, because she was an expert in enticing men. She had a track record. They don't just pick somebody out of the blue. They knew that this Delilah had a spirit of bringing down great men. So they came to her. To go and entice Samson. Brothers and sisters. Be careful. You see Delilah even was very open. With her. With her plans. She was, she was very open. That she wanted to bring down Samson. Listen to what the Bible says. In case many of you have missed out this powerful word. The verse 6 says. So Delilah said to Samson. Please tell me. Where your great strength lies. And with what you may be bound to afflict you. Listen to the words of Delilah. She was questioning, asking some. You see, some of your enemies, some of the people, they talk as though they are joking, but they are not joking. Have you encountered someone who speaks as though it is a joke, but it is reality? They mean what they say. You see, Delilah was open. She says, please tell me. What is the source of your strength? Where do you get that great strength from? Where does it originate from? And with what may you be bound with to afflict you? Be careful, my brothers and sisters. We are living in the last days. We are living in the last days. People are interested in bringing you down. Not everyone who says good to you means you well. As I've just said to you. So be very careful. I want to pray for you, brothers and sisters, that God will guide you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for each and every one that is watching me. Father, I lift up those that are going through afflictions, those that have encountered enemies to bring them down. Father, may you give your children direction. May you open up the eyes of their understanding that they may be able to see the traps of the enemy. Father, I break each and every plan of the enemy that is set to destroy your children. Father, I speak healing to each and everyone that is watching me from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. I decree and declare that they are healed. They will never be afflicted. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.